Welcome to Infanity, TV's ultimate fan guide. I'm Lisa Joyner. This time, we've got full clearance on the set of NCIS. We're going to find out just what keeps these ratings so high after all these years. Also, how do they make us laugh while they're solving grisly crimes? And how, like Mark Harmon, this show keeps getting better with age. Not a phone number. I don't know what the G stands for, but it's nine digits. Could be a military service number. I'll run it. You don't have to. It's mine. That we're still here and, and doing better every year is, is not only gratifying, but it's, uh, it's rewarding to a crew that's as large as this and know they have a job to come back to every year. And, and uh, this group has stayed together from the beginning. It's a show we're here in order to entertain, make people laugh, make them think. But at the same time, we have a, a responsibility in that we have to respect the fact that we're dealing with the military and therefore we're dealing with the Marines and the Navy. And NCIS is a real organization. NCIS, the Naval Criminal Investigative Service. If there's a crime or a potential plot connected to the Navy or Marines, these agents and forensic specialists are on on it. Reported for duty at 1900 that night, but left an hour later claiming he was sick. Found his khakis and his ID on the fantail the next morning. No body recovered. In our world, there's so many gray areas as far as legality goes. We like the sort of black and white sort of mm -hmm. sense of justice that television for, for shows like this brings. And this, this show does that very well. What we're doing is conducting a strange, outside of the box, uh, genre hopping experiment where it's kind of a CSI military procedure jag with some other stuff but really what is it it's the Dukes of Hazard in the Navy it's chips meets Hill Street Blues it's my fair lady meets uh, Mr. Ed what is she talking about the cupcake you stole it from my refrigerator I have forensic evidence, your big, fat fingerprint. It's a volatile cast. It's a dangerous chemistry experiment that they're conducting over at CBS. By putting these elements together, never before in the history of television. Supervising this experiment is Special Agent Jethro Gibbs. Gibbs is like a great hunting dog. You know, he, he's just, he's, he's the guy you want in your foxhole. He's the guy you want to ride the river with. You know, he, I don't know that he's the guy you want to have dinner with. I was always attracted to the quirks in this character, the flaws in this character. All these characters have flaws. And Agent Gibbs' flawed subordinates are Anthony Tony Dinozo, former homicide detective and self-described Don Juan. I'm building a profile of the victim. Not exactly Navy issue. Ziva David, ex-Israeli agent and expert interrogator. I bought the cupcake for Abby. Timothy McGee, the greenest of the agents, but a whiz with technology. This nine digits could be a military service number. I'll run it. Abby Shuido, goth girl and yes. gifted crime lab technician. I found traces of sodium, towel eight, water, and fragrance. So. Dr. Donald Ducky Mallard, medical examiner and wise old sage of the office. Of late. I have had too many bodies or none at all. Doc Mallard's field and morgue assistant, Jimmy Palmer. Doctor? And the new head honcho, NCIS director, Leon Vance. SecNav doesn't share your enthusiasm. This is a show that has everything except a really good, hummable, um, like, credit sequence thing. You know, with words like Gilligan's Island. Like, this should be like, this is a tale of private investigators that are working really hard, and they're going to find that evidence and test it forensically for clues that may help them solve the case. Let's go. What do we got, boss? What do we got? We got a... Good question. Mark Harmon, he is our leader in every sense of the word. We look up to him and he guides us. And everybody is constantly trying to do it a little bit better. And he is a prime example of that. A native Southern Californian, Mark Harmon is the son of actress Elise Knox and Heisman Trophy winner football legend Tom Harmon. Mark himself quarterback for UCLA and graduated cum laude. Married to actress Pam Dauber of Mork and Mindy, he's the father of two and spent two decades on TV with starring roles on St. Elsewhere and Chicago Hope. And he's now in the sixth season of NCIS as special agent Jethro Gibbs. Two good men. Two of my best. I put in a call to the Columbia National Police in Cartagena. 
They're looking you into Lieutenant Evans' credit card charges. He could have lost the card. Could have had it stolen before he boarded. Or Lieutenant Evans is still alive. In your opinion, how has Jethro evolved or changed <laughs> in this, you know, like this season? And it's so not about him. Yeah. He, he doesn't care about him. Right. I mean, he's a, he's a self-made guy, and he's a, he's a worker ant kind of guy. We do more, I think, uh, depart, what I call departure shows now here, that, that where you, you'll go with McGee into a woman's prison, and or you'll go with Ducky and, into his past, and, and they'll, they'll let out more. The writers have more fun letting out some more of the information about the individual characters than... than in the past. But they keep it surprising here uh, for all of us. I mean, uh, and I, I don't always know where it's going. There's been a lot of changes, both in front of the camera and behind the camera on this show, and, and we've gotten better with these changes. And so I think it's fortunate that not only that we're all still here and still doing it, but I think we're doing it better now than we were doing it in years one, two, and three. And the whole process has, has become something that we're all pretty proud of. Here. We've put in the, the effort, and we've always tried to work hard at it, and we're always pretty sure what we have potentially here in this show. But it's a, it's a tight group, and I think that helps. And I think part of that is what you see on camera, and, and it's not accurate. <laughs> <laughs> Easy there. Two San Diego agents, both good men. I'm sure they are. You may recognize Rocky Carroll. He was a familiar face on Chicago Hope, but now you play the NCIS director, Leon Vance, on the show. That is correct. Yeah, you know, people have asked me, said, you've done television for so many years. You know, I've been very fortunate. I've done, you know, this is now my fifth series for CBS. Mark Harmon and I did Chicago Hope together. So even though it's, it, it's, it's new in, in certain aspects, there's a lot of things that are very familiar and very home for me. You're expecting one living guy. Instead, you find two dead guys. When you found out the, the role was NCIS director, how did you become that guy? I just kind of brought it in. And, you know, having never led a federal agency before, I didn't, I didn't have a, a wealth of that to draw from. As an actor and as an acting student, you know, I had people in, uh, all throughout my life, whether they were directors or acting teachers or people that I worked with in the industry, some who, who have this incredible looming presence and can be very intimidating and can have that sort of aura. And those were the people I kind of drew from for this character. He's part, you know, he's the high school principal that you never want to have to end up in his office. You decide. Or if you like, I will. There is a mutual respect. And Gibbs is a lone wolf. He's, an, he's a very iconoclastic kind of figure. There's something about these two guys that, that if, if I can't get him to, to, to do what I want him to do, at least I can get him to stop and listen. Even though they may be adversarial, they have different methods of getting to, to, you know, to where they want to be ultimately. They're both fighting the same cause. They're both patriots, and they both have a, a strong sense of patriotism. If you knew how much fun we actually have playing off of each other that way, you wouldn't take it as seriously. When you actually get along and really respect each other, Butting heads on camera is easy because there's that level of trust. I want to know who told him. Maybe we should start with your buddy, Court. You know my buddy. You know what I found? What have you found? Right, is that when you're trying to affect authority, first of all, you know, your posture is very important, right? right? Standing straight right. back and everything. The eye contact. Absolutely. Absolutely. He's not flinching. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.